Hello, everyone. I'm Ruo Yao Ma, come from Guildhall at SMU Cohort 16. Today, I will talk about how to make a HUD use ScaleForm and UDK version May 2011. As you can see on the screen, we will have a health bar, ammo bar, and a weapon bar. Before we start, I assume you already know how to set up a Flash project and an Unreal scripting project in Visual Studio. If you don't, go ahead and check out this channel. We have a lot of video about how to do these things. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's create a new layer for action script. Let's call it the action. And press F9 to call the panel for script. And input the following lines. It's quite simple. Let's see what it does. You can see it just rotate the health panel and give it a little bit 3D feeling. Okay, let's do the same thing for the ammo panel. Yeah, let's see it. Okay, good. Now let's add some more complex code. All my code is based on code from this place, called no experience necessary. But I made some changes to make sure it works with UDK May 2011 version. What those new code does is make different layers wave in Z direction, following a sign function by time. Start looks cool, right? Here we are completely done with Flash. Now let's look at some Unreal script. The first script, you can name it whatever. I name it Manual and HUD, because I use that to be my test class. This class derived from UT Deathmatch, and the purpose of this class is just to make sure the Unreal load our HUD and menu instead of its origin default one. So you can just throw all those code in and change some name to match your class's name. Oh, and each class should be in its own file and the name should be matched. Okay, the second file. The second class is quite simple. It's just uh, derived from the UT player controller. And you just make it like that. The custom hard class is just like a bridge between our main class and the menu and hard class. It's like a wrapper. So the, the fourth one, the hard movie player, that is where the magic happens. And this class just to load that one. So you do not need to change anything. You can just do like this. Okay, here we got series. This is uh, where magic happens. As you can see, the first three variable, uh, the last health PC, the last ammo count, and the last weapon, this holds the current state of the player. And next three or eight variable, they store the actual instance in the flash file. So like health MC, health bar MC, health TF will store things we created and name, named in the flash file. And same for others. You will see them later. And they have to be a GFX object. GFX means um, interactive with the flash. And the wrong number, this that's just a, a helper function. Don't worry about that. And also get percentage. And the function in it is where we initialize everything. You can see we are loading the instance from the flash here. The health, health.bar, health.value, ammo.bar, the weapon. Do you remember all those things we did? And it also initialized some variable, set them to be some weird value. It will never happen in the game, so we can update it later. The tick hunt will be called every frame. We got a player reference, that is the UTP, and then we start to deal with every state. The first one is health. We got health over health max to got a percentage and then set it to the 
health bar MC dot Z load. That is control the length of the bar. So when you get hurt, you will see the, the bar reduce. And the health TF is the text of how much health you have in percentage. The second part is last ammo count. It's basically just the keep tracking how much ammo do you have left. It looks really similar to the health part. The only difference is, uh, is go to, it use go to and stop I to, to control which frame it go to and, and stop there. You remember how we do the ammo bar? We have a lot of frame. The last part deal with weapon. Before we write the code, we need to know in what order every weapon has been ordered. So you see the inventory group? That will give you an index. And the index will tell you which weapon in order you are using. So if you know which weapon you're using now in index, then you can go into the uh, our weapon bar and find the one that matches the, the image. So it will be a good idea to make them the same order. Then you can just say, if the first weapon, go to first frame. If the second weapon, go to second frame, things like that. And the last part, default properties, just to set it like that. Okay. So now we have finished everything we need. Go ahead and uh, compile, import the package, and enjoy your hub. Thank you for watching. See you.